Hey everyone, today's it is about 1. Bakugo gets jealous after seeing you with Kurishima. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Well, let's get going. You have always treasured the special bond you share with Bakugo and Kurishima. As lovers, your days were filled with laughter, camaraderie, and a love that had withered. Countless challenges. One sunny afternoon at the UA doors, you found yourself chatting and laughing with Kurishima in the common area. I'm known to see you, Bakugo observed you from a distance, his sharp eyes narrowing as he saw the two of you enjoying each other's company. Bakugo, never one to easily express his emotions, felt a subtle twang of jealousy. His usually confident demeanor faltered for a moment as he watched Kurishima make you laugh. Sensing his gaze, You turn to find Bakugo standing there, his arms crossed, and a scowl on his face. What's your problem, Bakugo? Kurishima asked, noticing the tension. Bakugo shrugged, attempting to brush off these feelings. None of your damn business, Red Riot. You, however, sensed something was amiss. Bakugo, is everything okay? Just mind your own business, Tamas. He grumbled, turning away. Later that evening, as you and Bakugo shared a quiet moment in your room, the tension lingered. He couldn't quite put his feelings into words, but you could sense something was bothering him. You've been acting strange since this afternoon. Talk to me, Katsuki. You urged, using his first name to convey the sincerity of your concern. He sighed, running a hand through his spiky blonde hair. I don't know, okay? Just seeing you and Kirishima old buddy buddy got me on my nerves. Your eyes widened in realization. Are you jealous? Bakugo scowled, avoiding eye contact. Don't make a big deal out of it. I just... it's annoying. You reached for his hand, squeezing it gently. Katsuki, you know I love you, right? No one can replace you in my heart. He grumbled something unintelligible but the corners of his mouth twitched upwards. The next day, he decided to spend some quality time with Wakugo, reassuring him of your love and devotion. He dragged him to a quiet spot on the UA campus, away from prying eyes. Look, dumbass, I don't need you coddling me. Wakugo grumbled, but he didn't pull away as he held his hand. I just want you to know that you're the one I love, Katsuki. No one else comes close. You said sincerely. His cowl softened, and he finally met your gaze. Yeah, yeah, I know. But don't think I'll let you off the hook that easily. He chuckled, leaning in to kiss him. And Bakugo, though still gruff, reciprocated. The rest of the day was spent together, reaffirming the strength of your bond. Chelsea may have reared his spine momentarily. But in the end, it only served to strengthen your relationship with Bakugo and Kirishima, both of whom you cherished more than ever. The following weeks were a mix of normalcy and hazy emotions. Bakugo, though not one to wear his heart on his sleeve, began to show more tender side. He would surprise you with small gestures, flowers, a note left on your desk, or an unexpected embrace. The once unspoken jealousy had paved the way, pouring you a sense of appreciation in your relationship. One day, as the three of you trained together, Bakugo couldn't tell but admired the synergy between you and Kirishima. But, instead of feeling threatened, he found himself appreciating the strength in your connection. The trio become an unstoppable force. Each member complimenting the others in ways that went beyond. Mere combat, during a rare evening off, he suggested a movie night in your short dorm. Bakugo, despite his initial protests, found himself sitting on the couch with you and Kirishima. As the movie unfolded, Bakugo's hand found its way to yours, a subtle acknowledgement of the reassurance that you had provided. After the movie, Kirishima excused himself, leaving you and Bakugo alone. The atmosphere was comfortable. 
a stark contrast to the tension that had lingered just days ago. Thanks, Baku muttered, not one for elaborate expressions of gratitude. For what? You asked, genuinely curious. Honestly, for putting up with my shit. I shouldn't have done whatever I've done. Well, it's what partners do, Katsuki. We were supposed to be there for each other, through the good and the bad. He nodded, seemingly content with your response. The two of you spend the rest of your evening in quiet companionship, relishing in the warmth of each other's presence. As days turn into weeks, Baku's jealousy evolved into a newfound sense of security. He no longer felt threatened by your interactions with Kirishima. Instead, he embraced the unique dynamics that defined their relationship. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, you found yourselves on the rooftop of the UA dorms. The city lights twinkled in the distance, casting a soft glow on Baku's futures. I never thought I'd say this, but I appreciate red riot sometimes, too. Baku admitted, and of a smile playing on his lips. You chuckled, leaning into him. I'm glad you do. He's really an important part of our lives. Bakugo tightened his grip on you. He is the main or a star contrast to the explosive hero of their soul. In that moment, under the starlit sky, you realized that love, in all its forms, was a journey. It required patience, understanding, and a willingness to grow. Your relationship with Baku and Kirishima continued to flourish, each day bringing new challenges and joys. The jealousy that once threatened to disturb the delicate balance had become a catalyst for deeper connections, making your try an unbreakable bond in the world of heroes. As the month passed, the three of you faced numerous trials and triumphs, whether it was battling formidable villains or navigating the complexities of your society. Your trials to the strong, Baku Sender sighed, became a permanent fixture, and you found solace in the unwavering support of both to you and Kirishima. On that day, under the clear blue sky, you found yourselves at a bustling amusement park. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm grateful for the both of you. Bakugo admitted, his voice carrying a sincerity that echoed in the hearts of everyone present. Dude, right back at you. We make a great team. He smiled, feeling a profound sense of contentment. I love you both. You guys shared a group hug, each member appreciating the unique strength and quirks that made your relationship extraordinary. The journey from sexual jealousy to unbreakable unity had shaped your love story, turning it into a tale of resilience and growth. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.